So I made a closing thing that I want to just mention. A couple of things. The elections are happening, and in here we're not talking about how you vote and vote however you want. But I want you all to encourage you to be careful not to be angry about what you see happening. Whatever side you might be on, don't get angry about what you see happening. That's what the enemy want. The enemy want you to get angry. Because once you get angry, you're going to put your own self in prison. He's going to imprison you. He, even in your relationship, husband and wife, friendships or whatever, boyfriend, if you had one, you don't have one, but if you had one, uh, don't get angry in relationships either. That's what the devil wants. He wants you to get angry. To the husband and wife, leave your wife alone. Let her find her own way. Stop trying to teach. To the wife, leave your husband alone. Let him find his own way. Stop trying to teach. Because you're in the way of them discovering for themselves. Leave them in their own hell until they're ready to come out. They might not ever be ready to come out. God, leave you in your hell until you want to come out. He's not trying to get you every day. and He's not, he, he's not sending Christ to go get that person. The way has been made. So leave everybody alone. Don't be mad at them because they don't want it or they do want it. So if this thing is, is happening now in the election time. Don't be mad about what you see. The media wants you to be mad. Your team wants you to be mad. The other team wants you to be mad. They want a race war. They want you to fight. That's how they win by getting you to fight. Look how long the people have been fighting over something called racism. What's going to come out of that? Nothing. Because it's not real. Stop being, don't take sides. You already know how you want to vote. Vote the way you want to vote. Don't argue about it. Do not get into that. That's what they want. When the relationship, when you're in relationship, he, he would mention his friend early that one of you, he tried to say, I'm sorry, what happened? The friend won't even respond to him because the friend think that he's controlling him now. Oh, he's calling me up now to apologize. He's calling me up to take responsibility. And he's not going to answer because he wants to control you. Leave it alone. Leave him in his hell. You go with your life. That's not a friend. That's not a relationship. So don't get angry about what you see happening, right? And there's never, ever, 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 but never a time to be emotional. Emotion only gets you deeper into hell because it's all about you. It's never about them. What sense does it make to get mad at someone else because they don't want to do something? Or they do want to let them go and do it. Okay, bye. You live your life. You are your own world. And then as far as you're not a sinner, you've been saved. We all have sinned. They couldn't find anybody on earth who had not sinned except for one man. They couldn't find one woman. All the women had sinned. It's all right, ladies. I told y'all that sin comes to y'all. But anyway, uh, you stop thinking that way. You're thinking that way and you're suffering from your thinking. And that's what the devil wants you to think. The Christians will tell you real fast, they're a sinner. Oh, yeah, I'm a sinner, and I've always been a sinner. I sin daily. Wait, what? what the? You're supposed to be overcoming daily, not sinning daily. Every day I'm made new. You're not being made into sin every day. What's wrong with you? That's why nobody healed. No one get better because they've been told, and they believe the lie that they're sinners. Christ came. And all of your sins have been wiped away. You're neither sinner nor saint. So don't think of yourself in either way. Don't, if you don't think that way, it won't be that way. The devil wants you to think that way. That makes sense? You're not a sinner. And the devil, you've been so trained by your parents and the churches and the Sunday school teachers and everybody that you're a sinner. It's hard for you to imagine that you're not a sinner. You don't need to think of yourself as a sinner or a saint. We all have sinned. Christ came and defeat 
defeated the devil and brought us back, we're free. You can have paradise right here and now. You don't have to have you don't have to have hell in your life on earth. Because the way you drop your body, if you drop your body right now thinking of yourself as a sinner, you're gonna end up stuck. And ain't no way out. Because you already believe you're a sinner, so you're gonna act that way, think that way, believe that way. You drop your body, you're in hell, and you're stuck. Eternal life is right now. All right. So don't be mad about what y'all see happening. Uh, and stop judging people. They can't help themselves. They don't know what you know. They don't know that they are being controlled by evil. They can't help it. They think their thoughts and their feelings are them. They can't help it. That make sense? Is it making sense a little bit? Is it helpful? Yeah. And when you get ticked, <laughs> it's you that's ticked. It's nobody else's fault that made you tick. You're tick. So see that you're tick. And as you said, don't deny it and it'll fade away. See, no, that's emotional. You don't have a right to be angry. You were not given a right to be angry. The devil did that to you. If you want to be free, drop the anger, all right? And again, okay. And, I'll, and this week assignment, not the biblical question, I want you to watch in you the different demons in you, the love demon, the hate demon, and based on this demon, I'm getting my friend out of the way, fine, but I want you to watch the different demons in you and call it what it is so that you don't think it's you. Do not call it you, all right? But see them. And you have truckloads of demons in you, believe me. You're just not paying attention. But you got all kind of demons inside of you. Demons that you think are nice, and that is you, and it's not. And God wants you to see them so he can take them away from you. He said, come as you are. Come angry. Come this. Come on so I can save you from it. He's trying to save you from it, but you got to keep your eyes, yourself on it. You got to see it so he can save you from it. And some of the family members and others were not here last Sunday when we dealt with, can you ever know another person? Remember that question? Was that the question? Maybe a couple of ago. Yeah, a couple of Sundays ago, can you ever know another person? Maybe a few ago. Yeah. You cannot know another person. Only God knows that person's heart. And people will lie and hide in their heart from you. They'll say all the right things, act all, but in their heart they're evil. We cannot know another person. And, and, and some of the examples came up and said, oh, yeah, if you know yourself, you know another person. Not true. What you know about the other person is that you know that they're controlled by demons because you see that you are controlled by demons. And that's not you, but that doesn't mean you know another person at all. Now, people can say and do whatever. They can quote the Bible. They can say they hate their mama. They, they forget their mama. They can say whatever needs to be said so that they can look good and you think that they got it. You don't know another person. You just know what drives them because you see what drives you. But you don't know another person. That makes sense? Yeah. So I don't have a biblical question. I thought I had one, but I'm going to have to smoke on it. <laughs> I will have the smoke on it, all right? I may have one for tomorrow. So listen, the assignment this, this week is what? To uh, watch yourself, observe the demons in yeah. you. And, and call them what they are. Don't call them suppressed. Don't call them suicidal thoughts, even though the world calls them that, and the world is insane, right? Those are demons. That's what Paul was talking about. They're in you, your mind and body, but not in you. They're not in you. You don't know who you are yet. They are not in you. They are in the physical, in the physical mind and physical body, but not in you. They're not in you. You are perfect. As your Father in heaven is perfect. But you just don't know who that is at this point. All right? So stop being so defeated. Drop it, you free sons and daughters of God. All right? So amazing. We're out of time. Uh, whatever.
Yes. Oh, men's form is to be announced. I'm not sure. This is the first Thursday coming up this week, coming up, but I'm not sure yet. I will know soon if, if I'll be here for the meeting. Uh, so hold on. Listen up at the show or something. We'll, we'll test it out. But uh, no, might not be a men's form. And don't forget to donate. We need y'all to help. I shouldn't have to ask y'all. You being helped, so give back. Go to rebuildingtheman.com. Yes, Nick? Do you think we'll post about it on events if we're doing it Thursday? Yeah. yeah. Rebuildingtheman.com yeah, slash events. Right on. No. Alessa, did this help today? Of course, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, in one way, real fast. Um, you just said it at the end. Um, I think with the whole sinner question, like, is it easier to accept the fact that you're a sinner or that your sins have been washed away? I think that we don't believe that we can be perfect and that it's possible to be that way. And so we condemn ourselves with how we think and how we speak. All the time. Because we've been taught to be that way. Yeah. From the moment we pop out of our mama's womb, she said, come on, sinner, let me take you to church. And, and from that point forward, you think you're a sinner. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I can't tell you, the number of people I've asked this question, which is easy for you to accept, that you're a sinner or that all your sin has been wiped away? And everybody has said, wow, that's interesting. But it's hard for me to admit that I'm, all my sins have been wiped away. It was, it's hard for most people to say all my sins have been wiped away. They have been conditioned to believe that they're sinners. And to, it's almost not like blasphemy to say you're not a sinner. Right? Everybody on the earth says that they're sinners. It's not true. All of your sins have been wiped away. That's why your brother Christ, Jesus Christ, came and he wiped away your sins. So don't think of yourself either way, sinner or saint. Why not just be without any form of identity? Just be, and you'll be fine. Thank you all. Bye. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>